Ashtakamers and hey Diana, even though I know that you're in Jordan. But uh, natural disasters, yeah, since we both live in the Midwest, we don't really have much to worry about. Si nous pouvions changer le monde, on le ferait encore. Except for the occasional flood. Like last year there was that big tornado that just came through the suburb near me. It was like, whoa, tornadoes, and we didn't have power for two days. Not a really nice time, because we didn't have any water, so I had to go figure out how to take a shower somewhere else. But your video isn't really out of touch with what's going on right now, because there are the wildfires that are going on right now in Arizona, and then there were still aftershocks in Japan. Haiti, which hasn't been in the news in a while, has um, cholera, and nobody's been saying anything about that. I know about all those things because they have kind of been in the media for a long time. Well, if it was a big thing, it was in the media for a little while. No, why? It catches everyone's attention. Because they're headlines, people pay attention to those headlines, but then afterwards they're like, uh, Haiti? Japan? Cholera? Darfur? What? That's still going on? I thought that was over. It's not news anymore. I'm guilty as well as anybody else of just looking over the big headlines and not really paying attention, just knowing about what's going on in the world. Like, Greece is going bankrupt. Or are they? The 45.2% unemployment rate in the Gaza Strip? Yeah, that's news too. And also the water wars in Vietnam because there isn't enough clean water for people. That's all going on right now, but I just glance over those and I'm thinking, you know, I can't do anything. That's It's not even like a major headline. It's just a tinier news story. Then that tiny, which is supposed to be big, news story gets covered up by something like Anthony Weiner, a political scandal, celebrities, drugs, sex, rock and roll, all that shebang kind of thing that people don't really care about. I mean, it's not... Who cares that he was on Twitter and he showed a private part of his body? Personally, don't care. He's just some guy and he showed it to the world. But, I mean, there are more important things in the world going on right now than seeing somebody's areas. If that little motion right there becomes a Tumblr meme. Oh god. <laughs> areas. <laughs> Do you hear about that political scandal? Do you hear anything about progress in uh, Haiti or in Japan or in other parts of the world where there actually is some progress? Because there's been a 30% drop in poverty since 2000. That is big news! Do we see headlines about that? No. No. We see headlines about all the crappy stuff that's going on in the world and we can't do anything about it. It's just making us feel more and more helpless, and we can't decrease world suck that way. But if you want to help out, I think that television should have resources. If you haven't heard about the Vancouver riots, first of all, where have you been? There was a whole mob of people after a game, and there was a mess everywhere in Vancouver. But then, the next day, the next couple days, the people of Vancouver went to clean, and they all gathered people through Facebook and just started cleaning things, and they're saying, we don't want to have a bad image about Vancouver, and they went out on their own and started cleaning. Links in my pants, doobly-doo, thingamajig, where you can see the full story. Basically, with the natural disasters and all the negative things that are going on in the world, I think that the news today, and even us in general, Ashtikam included, should have more inspiring stories to motivate other nerdfighters and viewers to get out there. Ron, I'll see you Wednesday.